Okay, good morning everybody. Um, it's springtime here in Montreal and I'm about to take my boat out uh, for the first time either today or tomorrow. It's Saturday, we're what, uh, April 20th today. It's about, uh, I think 10 degrees outside. It's pretty windy though, so I might just wait till tomorrow. But the water temperature is only seven degrees Celsius. If you're gonna go out kayaking, make sure you're prepared for the cold. Um, have all your equipment checked, make sure everything's tested and you're good to go. Um, here are a few things that I have with me uh, to keep myself safe, because a lot of times I'm out by myself. I'll probably go with my buddy tomorrow if it's nice, because uh, the first time I really don't feel like going alone. It's, it's you know, it's six months you haven't been in a boat. So, anyway, some of the basics I have, it's, it shouldn't even be said, but here we go. I have my PFD. With my PFD, I also have a VHF radio, which is in my pocket, set to channel 16 and turned on, okay? You definitely want to have a flotation device. Don't go on, if you don't have a PFD, do not go in the water in these conditions. Uh, it goes without saying. The next thing is, um, if you're gonna go in your kayak, and you say you have a recreational kayak, those things, you cannot get back into them, uh, especially if you flipped. So uh, I suggest, if you're gonna go on one of those things, stay near shore. Uh, within a safe swimming distance from shore because you go out further than that and you tip the water is so cold that if you get thermal shock uh, you're not going anywhere you're gonna have a hard time and it could take your life so uh, there was a recent I noticed it on Facebook uh, yesterday there was a recent passing away of somebody who did who was out on the water I don't know what kind of kayak he had I don't know his experience level apparently in his 40s and he died so uh, I haven't seen the report or anything yet but uh, it's just, that's why I'm doing this video. It's for safety. So whoever's out there on the water, make sure you're dressed for this situation. Don't dress for the temperature, test uh, the air temperature, dress for the water temperature. Seven degrees is a really, really cold water. So we have the PFD out of the way. Other things I have in here. I have a manual bilge pump, but this boat's equipped with an electronic bilge pump. So I have two systems. Um, also, I have a paddle float because on this particular boat, I cannot climb on the back deck. It's very hard to get into. But uh, doing self-rescue is very easy. I just keep it behind my seat. I have a paddle float. Also, I keep in my front hatch, I have a backup paddle float in case something happens to this one. But this one's actually tethered to the boat. So even if I were to tip over, I just grab the tether, I could pull, and the boat's not going anywhere. Never let go of your boat. This is your life raft. A, a kayak like this, even if it fills with water, it will still float. Never let go of your boat okay always hang on to it especially when you're falling over just grab the side hang on to it um i have two kinds of gloves i wear these are my normal paddling gloves they have leather on them um you know they get wet your hands are going to get chilled a little bit but i don't mind paddling with these if it's really cold out i'll wear these ones these are neoprene with leather in the front they're made by nrs i don't know what the model is but uh, they're very comfortable um they're flexible but they give you more protection than the other ones. One's probably gonna start my day with these and then switch to the lighter gloves. I'll see how it goes. Or what I do is in my uh, day bag, you know, right in the front here, I'll keep my spare gloves in there so if I get cold, I can switch out. Sunglasses. Get yourself a good pair. If these are anti-fog, uh, I think they're, I don't remember what mark they are. Bottom of sale. Get yourself a good pair of anti-fog glasses and they'll give you good eye protection because the sun's pretty strong. I wear a neck gaiter just to keep the windshield off my neck. And if you get cold, you can pull it up over your head. I have a small deck bag where you keep snacks and stuff. On the back of my PFD, I carry water. Make sure you have water so you don't get dehydrated. For your personal protection of yourself, I wear a dry suit. I have a Coke Attack. This one's a Gore-Tex Pro. Um, it's an expensive investment to get a dry suit. But the difference is, a wet, you can wear a wetsuit for sure. Absolutely, you can wear a wetsuit. It will work for you. Uh, the only thing is it has to stay wet to give you some sort of uh, thermal insulation. You know, uh, a lot of people wear a wetsuit. They find they get chilled because there's no water inside. Um, and once you get wet, you can get cold once you get out of your kayak. Um, if you can afford it, go for a dry suit. It's the best investment you're going to ever make. It'll last you for years and years if you take care of it properly. You have no problem. Um, under the dry suit, I wear thermal laying, thermal layers. I usually wear on my body, hang on a second, just pull it out. This is Healy Hansen uh, Marina wool. I wear that directly on my person. This is my base layer uh, for my legs. I also have a base layer for my torso. I wear that. 
On top of that, especially in these water conditions, I wear light polar fleece on top, and that gives me good thermal protection. If I get too warm, I can always unzip, take off one layer, and still have the other. Uh, but trust me, when you're gonna go in the water the first time, you're gonna appreciate having this. I uh, wear uh, merino wool and, um, what's it called again? Uh, anyways, what I just said, top and bottom. They're great to have, I've been wearing this for years. Works fantastic. What I generally do is I get dressed by the shore, and I'll, with the dry suit, I'll just walk in the water the first time, just sit in the water and see how I feel. If I'm comfortable, I'm ready to go. That's it. Socks. Um, these are synthetic. I just got these at, uh, I think, Marks or something like that. Uh, synthetic socks. You can wear wool, uh, wool socks or these synthetics. They work, these are really, really good. And I keep them just for kayaking. Never wear anything cotton underneath. Cotton will kill you. If it, uh, if it gets wet, it keeps... It keeps the cold, it keeps you wet, whereas the other, uh, the other gear will wick it away from you. So that's that. Uh, make sure you have a sponge in your boat. I have one there, this is my backup, it's from either boat. Um, these you don't really care about. These are just, I put under my boat to protect my hull because it's composite. Um, I've got my spray skirt in here. I've got some neoprene booties with a hard uh, bottom on it so you can walk on rocks and stuff. Um, I, I prefer shorties, I have some longer ones. I hardly ever wear them anymore. I always wear these. I have a spare semi-dry type, dry tight, semi-dry top in here, uh, which I keep uh, in case something happens or like in a warmer weather, it'll be in my boat. So if it starts raining or something, I can put this on, it's completely waterproof. And uh, even if you roll over, water won't get in. It's very, very good. Or if somebody else needs it in the group, I have it with me. Also, I have a bag in here. This is all emergency gears. My PLB is in here. Uh, Fire starters, water filter, um, change, knife, uh, light, whatever I could need, emergency blanket. In case something happens, I get stranded on a little island or something, I have some first aid with me and extra stuff. There's extra gloves in here and a bunch of other little things. Uh, I've done videos on that before. It's, you should see it on my site. Uh, that's about it. Make sure before you go out that you've checked every fitting on your boat. Every nut and screw has to be uh, verified because it's been sitting probably for six months and you want to make sure that everything's tight. Nothing's going to fall apart on you while you're out on the water. So make sure all the handles are good. Everything's good. Make sure like my boat has a rudder. Make sure the rudder moves. The cables are not uh, you know, tied up on something or binding. Uh, all your bungees are good so you're not going to lose an extra paddle. Speaking of paddles, if you're by yourself, bring two paddles. If there's two of you, make sure at least one of you has a spare paddle. It's like having a spare tire. Uh, you're probably never going to use it, but it's good to have. Um, I personally paddle with a Greenland and I keep a Euroblade as my backup. <clears throat> and sometimes I get into shallow water and I don't want to have my Greenland paddle banging on the, the floor of the lake. So I'll use my Euroblade. And uh, that's about it. Maintain your equipment, make sure it's all good. And the last thing to bring, the most important thing is bring your camera. Because you want to have some nice pictures of your trip out. Because it's beautiful out and you want to enjoy the water. You want to be prepared. If you're prepared to be out on the water, and you're safe, it's gonna be enjoyable. It's better to be preventative and not have to think about it than to be out in the water and go, oh crap, I should have brought it and now I need it and I don't have it. Because swimming back to shore with no dry suit, no nothing, it's not fun. I did it in the beginning when I first started six years ago. I was practicing rolling and uh, as I rolled over, I was taking a paddle float in the water. The paddle float came off the end of the paddle and got blown away in the high winds. And I wasn't able to get back in the boat. Thank God I was wearing my dry suit that day. I swam for 45 minutes towing my boat because it was, it was still tethered to me. Uh, towing my boat for 45 minutes to get back to shore. Not a fun experience. That, that day I bought uh, two paddle floats and now they're tethered permanently to the boat with a tether line. Uh, people say, oh, you're gonna get tangled in it. Look, I've been doing it for six years. I practice every other weekend with it. It's never happened. Never, never happened. And if it does, I have a knife in my pocket of my PFD that I can just pull out. I cut that line really, really quick. Um, so, you know, cross my fingers. Hopefully it's never going to happen, but I don't think so. Uh, that's about it. That's what I do for safety. You know, figure something out for yourselves. Make sure you're safe out there. Um, if you're not sure, don't go. The water's cold. It will kill you uh, if you're not careful. So just be careful. Anyways, that's it, guys. Um, some a few little tips. If you have any questions, just leave it below. And uh, I'll see you guys on the water. Take care. Bye now.